Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles, The Daily Lessons, and today we are on Lesson 325. And I will be off camera for um, the next few lessons. Uh, just FYI. Okay, Lesson 325. All things I think I see reflect ideas. This is Salvation's keynote. What I see reflects a process in my mind, which starts with my idea of what I am. From there, the mind makes up an image of the thing the mind desires, judges valuable, and therefore seeks to find. These images are then projected outward, looked upon, and esteemed as real and guarded as one's own. From insane wishes come an insane world. From judgment comes a world condemned, and from forgiving thoughts a gentle world comes forth with mercy for the Holy Son of God to offer him a kindly home where he can rest a while before he journeys on and help his brothers walk ahead with him and find the way to heaven and to God. Our Father, your ideas reflect the truth and mine apart from yours, but make up dreams. Let me behold only yours reflect, for yours and yours alone establish truth. Let me read this again. All things I think I see reflect ideas. This is salvation's keynote. What I see reflect sorry, what I see reflects a process in my mind which starts with my idea of what I want. From there, the mind makes up an image of the thing the mind desires, judges valuable, and therefore seeks to find. These images are then projected outward, looked upon, esteemed as real, and guarded as one's own. From insane wishes come an insane world. From judgment comes a world condemned, and from forgiving thoughts, a gentle world comes forth with mercy for the Holy Son of God to offer him a kindly home where he can rest a while before he journeys on and help his brothers walk ahead with him and find the way to heaven and to God. Our Father, your ideas reflect the truth and mine apart from yours, but make up dreams. Let me hold what only yours reflect, for yours and yours alone establish truth. Okay, folks, this is like one of the most important lessons ever. So uh, let me use my words uh, to try and uh, help explain what this is talking about. And it explains the phrase, you may have heard me say the phrase, there's nothing out there. And, and that's a true statement. And that's what this, uh, this lesson is talking about. The process is in our minds. There isn't actually anything in this 3D world that we think we see. We are co-creating it collectively with our minds. They are holograms. The things that you look out upon and think exist in form, in physical fact, are truly projections of our mind. I know that sounds fantastic and not possible, but I can uh, assure you it is actually really the truth. Uh, and again, it comes back to some of the scientific teachings that we know of. For example, if you take anything and put it under the strongest microscope we have, it will all look the same. It won't matter what it was you put there. So everything is made out of the exact same matter. And the other thing that you see when you put it under the slide in the microscope is that everything's moving. So we look around and we think we see solid objects. You probably think you're sitting on a solid chair or a bench or, or couch if you're sitting. Uh, as you're listening to this, and yet what you're sitting on is made of a substance that is actually moving. You're sitting on it, but it's moving. So it, I, I, 
hone in on this because it's one of the ways to really awaken yourself to the fact that what is appearing to be real here in this world is not. And what is real are the things that you don't realize. And so that's why they say here in this lesson, your ideas reflect the truth and mine apart from yours, but make up dreams. Let me behold only what yours reflect for yours and yours alone establish truth. And back to the beginning, what I see reflects a process in my mind. Now, it, they go on to say, which starts with my idea of what I want. And it's not always, I don't think, what you want. Sometimes it's what you're expecting. And so I'm sure most of us can relate to an experience where we anticipate something to be terrible, and then it is terrible. What we don't know is had we anticipated it to be wonderful, would our experience of it have been wonderful? We don't know. You don't know unless you try. And quite often, when you experience something to be wonderful, you'll experience it to be wonderful. Again, we're in a co-creative collective creation here of this 3D world. So we are not 100% in control of everything that's going on. We are only in 100% of control of ourselves. And that's only if we choose to be. So I hope this lesson uh, is helpful for you today. Uh, feel free to reach out to me, 907-351-3003 if you would like additional support. You can message me through wherever you found this, uh, through whatever platform this was on, Facebook, or not, yes, Facebook, or um, YouTube, SoundCloud. You can also find me through my websites, lindalamp.com and lindalamp.shop. Until tomorrow and the next lesson, namaste and much love.